children focus, small businesses are important to families. So I hit the road to explore them during the best time of the year with my favorite person. Welcome to Rainbow Life Northern New York Fall Tour. Beginning with Play Hollow in Bolston Spa, we travel north to Cuddlebugs and Wiggle Worms in Wilton. And then finally on to Grow in Glens Falls as we take in the beauty of fallen northern New York along the way. It's a busy day with a two-year-old, so let's get started. But first, with my car now a classic and the cost of premium fuel, we need to borrow a newer ride, so our first stop is Hertz to pick up a reliable, quiet, efficient, and comfortable electric vehicle. Another option available is a car sharing website called Turo. With a little bit of setup and a confirmation from my co-pilot, I'm ready. we are ready to go. Most of our driving will be spent on a part of Interstate 87 called the Northway. Known as the Gateway to Northern New York, this part of the Northway was built in 1957 as part of the Federal Highway Act of 1956. The first landmark is the Thaddeus Kosciuszko Bridge, known as the Twin Bridges. It is named to honor a national figure who came to America from Poland a month after the Day of Independence, becoming a U.S. citizen and earning the rank of general. Our first stop is Play Hollow, located in the small village of Boston Spa. Settled in 1771, and incorporated in 1807. Boston Spa started as a destination place and also known for its healing springs. Play Hollow is owned by Natalia, a certified bilingual speech pathologist and mom. She recently opened Play Hollow to offer natural, creative, engaging, and imaginative children's goods. I like to buy quality imaginative wood toys for my son and I saw some that I hadn't seen before. I also mentioned a new phase my toddler is going through, and Natalia instantly knew a board book that would help us. Play Hollow also offers services focused around play, creativity, development, and yes, even private sessions. There are too many to list and always being updated, so go and check it out with the link in the description. We are heading north to our next stop. Cuddlebugs and Wiggleworms are located in Wilton, near Saratoga Springs. Wilton was settled in 1764 and then created in 1818. In these early years, it was known for its trade. The drive to Wilton Mall is easy, right off the Northway exit. It's good to see regional malls still active, being adaptive, and it brings back fond memories as a child. Not having been to this mall before, I parked where the map told me. Classic mistake. This put me at the other end. So park near Home Goods if you want to get in and out. Both are part of the same business and located across from each other. Cuddlebugs is a mix of new and pre-owned items organized in a large space. This large space allows for a variety of large baby equipment along with racks and racks of clothing. They update their Facebook frequently, so check the link in the description. Across the hallway is Wiggle Worms, a hybrid playland, playroom, and cafeteria. It is open to both membership and single use for playtime or parties. There is a large bouncy house and outdoor play equipment in a climate controlled area, which is right next to the large playroom. Tables and chairs are near to eat lunch, snack, or watch your children play. Make sure you have your socks to play in all of the areas. Our last official stop is Grow in the middle of downtown Glens Falls. Glens Falls was settled in 1763 and first incorporated in 1839. It is known for its small town feel and big city amenities. Crow is the creation of Hillary and Melanie, 
both moms, where they focused on events and items for children 0 through 5, as well as for their parents. As a single older parent to a younger child, I know you forget about yourself as you give all you have to caregiving. When I heard about hang out with adults, drink beer, and let your kids play, I thought, where do I sign up? If I lived closer, I would definitely be there more often. Okay, back to the kids part. The children's items there are adorable and purposeful. And in the back is an activity room where we had a read aloud. The selection of toys are from artisans local and around the world, many of which are women and minority owned. My son picked out a wooden bus with xylophone, shapes, a hammer, and ball, and it's part of his vehicle collection, and he still enjoys it today. As we head north from Glens Falls, we pass what is called the Blue Line, crossing into the Adirondack Park. It consists of six million acres, which is as big as the state of Vermont. It also has 3,000 plus lakes, 30,000 miles of rivers and streams, and 200,000 acres of old growth forests. Created by the state of New York in 1892, it is the largest single protected area and largest national historic landmark, 52% of which is privately owned and contains an even more protected forest preserve. This part of the Northway wasn't built until 1967, making it a 10-year process. It was highly contested and needed a vote by the people of New York to allow a change in the Constitution. I don't know what it was like to travel before the Northway and if it was the right decision or not, but I do appreciate the easy access to such a beautiful place to enjoy with my son. If you like the outdoors like I do, there's plenty to do, see, and experience in the Adirondacks like no other place. I am filled with joy knowing that my son is gifted, the same gift I was given. It is truly a forever wild gem and something I love most about New York. As we exit the Adirondack Park, we approach Plattsburgh. I had intended to visit a business, but it wasn't there, so we headed to the Champlain Center for a supercharge and a rest. After looking around a bit, we came across a wonderful organization CCCCNC, giving out books as part of their journey into reading program. My son chose Daniel Tiger with the perfect fall theme. He loves Daniel and he loves to read. They are there every Thursday. We then went back to our car and were surprised to see that it was ready to go, so we headed out. On our return home, we took a slight detour through the Osamel Valley on Route 9N that hugs East Osable River. There are plenty of pull-off areas and trails to enjoy the stunning region. On our trip, the colors were just starting to change. In another couple weeks, it will look like this. Like I said, simply stunning. I wish we had more time to enjoy the park, but it is getting late and we only have a couple hours to eat and get back home. If you own or know of a small business focused on family in New York State, let us know in a comment below. Thanks for spending your time with us, and remember, a little kindness can make a big difference. At Rainbow Life, we have a passion for supporting surrogates and building families. If you or someone you know is considering being a surrogate for a waiting family, take that first step to change someone's life and reach out to us. Thank you to all the small businesses for supporting us and being gracious hosts. We hope to see all of you on the next tour.